In these problems, we're dividing decimals by whole numbers. And it's really not that difficult. The only trick is figuring out where to put the decimal point. Let me show you how with this first example. It says divide 0 0.21 by 3. Now, if this just said divide 21 by 3, the answer would be 7, right? Well, that's a good way to think about it. You know, when you're normally doing division, you look at this uh, number out here and you say, how many threes could go into the first number here? Well, none could go into zero. So because this is a decimal, I'm going to put a zero up there. Then I'm going to put my decimal point lining it up. The next one, there's a two. How many threes can go into two? Well, it's still too small, so that's another zero. No threes can fit into two. Now I have 21. How many threes can fit into 21? Well, seven. And you can check that, 3 times 7 is 21. Do the subtraction, and you get 0, no remainder. So our answer here is 0 0.07. Let's try another one. This one says divide 7.2 by 9. If this was divide 72 by 9, you'd probably know that was 8. Well, we're going to do the same thing we did up there. Uh, let's look at the first number. It's a 7. How many 9s can fit into 7? Well, none. So I'll put a 0 up there. Now I have my decimal point, so I'll put that in. Now we have 72. How many nines can fit into 72? Well, that's 8, so we've got 0 0.8. Let's try one more. This one is a word problem. It says the distance from Margaret's house to school and back is 8.2 miles. How far does she live from school? So here's her house, here's the school, going there and back equals 8.2. So the distance she lives to, from school is going to be half of that round trip. So what we really need to do is divide this by 2. So we'll set up the division problem, 8.2 divided by 2. We'll do it the same way. How many 2's can fit into 8? Aha, well, 4 can. 2 times 4 is 8. We'll do our subtraction, and we get 0.2. Now, how many 2's can fit in 2? Well, actually, let me put the decimal point, because that's the next thing there. How many 2's can fit into 2? Well, that would be 1. 1 times 2 is 2. We subtract. We have 0. And that is how to do division of decimals by whole numbers.